This Ridley O sponsored by NCAPFAC.com. Hey, what's going on? Hold on. Stop the bike. Police confiscating cameras. It doesn't happen that often in New Hampshire. But when it does, I think it deserves extra special attention. No search warrant to seize all your recording devices, cell phone, so you can go ahead and shut that off. The most scandalous video is the one that is not allowed to be shown to the public, or which is delayed in being shown to the public, but because authorities seized it. Well, something like this apparently happened in Keene. How are you? Good. Hey, Glad Thanks to hear it. To this man, Robin Hood himself, James Cleveland, also known as YouTube.com slash Lightspeed Liberty. Y'all can videotape all that shit y'all want. I'll take your video camera. Freaking no, 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 you no, will no, not no, touch no, anything. Shut your ass up. Shut you the fuck up. You will not touch anything. Shut the fuck up. All right? You will not tell me well, I'll talk to you any kind of way I want. No, you, won't. you ain't got no respect for nobody around you, so why should I have respect for your dumb ass? Now there have been a lot of scandalous things that have happened to the Free Keen activists and their allies. A man apparently having his neck broken by an assault. A man apparently sentenced to 60 days in jail for speaking to a government official. Another one thrown in jail for an extended period of time because he, without hurting anyone, Defended someone from an assault. Yeah, because you videotaped me, man. You ain't got no fucking. As we see more and more evidence that Keen really is what I've been calling it, New Hampshire's North Korea. Well, the fact is, some of it we're just not seeing, and that's the part that must get the most attention. We can't do. We we, we have to take action that punishes the police for seizing video. Otherwise, they'll do it more. Governor, your state police have seized the recording equipment of an independent reporter who has interviewed you out in Keene. Do you even know that it happened? And you, should you be working for a governor that doesn't answer questions from New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel? This goes back to, I guess it's a kind of thinking that I had all the way back in the mid 80s. Uh, I once gave a presentation, I was, on, uh, I was trying to get a scholarship, I guess around 1986. Uh, and I went before a, a board of newspapermen in Oklahoma. I, I, you know, I was a University of Oklahoma student in journalism. And I wrote an essay. I made a point that my big concern at that time was that the mainstream national media was ignoring uh, abuses that happened inside the Soviet bloc. And their excuse for ignoring these abuses was that, well, we're not allowed to film there, so we're just not covering stuff there they were essentially rewarding Yuri Andropov and Nikolai Ceausescu for their bans on cameras. They were tamely complying and focusing their attention on abuses in South Africa where a less totalitarian government was letting the press in. This was, I thought, the great journalistic abuse of our time in the 80s and I still feel that I was right about that as a college student. You have every right so shut, to. Off the, shut it off or you're going to be coming with me. Well, it's the same thing now inside the United States. The, the greatest abuse is when a camera is seized, video is suppressed. My suspicion is that in this case, you know, they'll probably allow the video to be released. It may already be back in James Cleveland's hand, you know, after they took the video away from him. It's unlikely they'll actually delete the video, but... Before this peaceable revolution has played out, there will be an incident where they seize someone's video and it never sees the light of day. If you're like most people, you've probably got one of these, or one of these, who really like this, or this. Maybe they even like this. And they probably go on and on about this. It's enough to make you do this. 
So, instead of doing this, send them to this. NCAPFAC.com Let it answer their pro-government questions.